Yo, so I'm gonna work out now, but later I'm gonna show you how I grew my chest because like bro, my chest is pretty big for being like 17. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Then I'm gonna do my nice little home workout. So also bro, I woke up this morning and my hair is like moving kinda curly, bro. Like bro, look at these curls man. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna start with weighted dips, bro. There. And then yeah. boys so how do you get a big chest but basically exercise selection a lot of people don't really talk about this but for me like exercise selection has been really important for building each of my muscle groups and stuff you know you gotta find what works best for you but in my opinion close grip pressing and stuff like that where you get like the close grip are so much better than you know like wide grip the worst chest exercise would be like super wide grip powerlifter bench which I actually used to do, but that was kind of for strength, and to be honest, I just stopped that because it's kind of stupid, I don't know why I do that. But, see, close close grip bench, dips, press-ups. Press-ups are so underrated, bro. If you do, like, weighted press-ups, like, you'll see, I'll get, like, a plate, and then I'll just go, like, and then put it on my back. You do them closer grip as well, because if you do close grip, you've got more range of motion, and also, probably better for your shoulder as well. You don't want to get injured you're training chest twice a week i would say do weighted dips and weighted press ups they're the best in my opinion some people they enjoy bench press so obviously you can add that in instead of one of them probably switch it for press ups but always have weighted dips bro a lot of people talk about like upper chest bro and like people have asked me like how do i get a big upper chest but as the incline pressing it does target more of your upper chest technically but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're training chest, you're gonna grow your upper chest. If you got a small upper chest, like, it probably even isn't small, you probably just got a small chest, but if somehow your upper chest is like significantly smaller, adding in the incline press is fine, but it's probably not gonna solve the problem. What is though, you just getting a fat, big ass chest in general. If you enjoy doing the, you know, the flies bro, with the cables, personally, I don't do the flies cause if you think about it, doing like, is this really going to build that much muscle, bro? Like, like I, in my opinion, it's not doing that much. It is a good thing to train your chest when it's like fully shortened in this position, but that can easily be done with diamond press-ups. Then you can like 
you see. Those are my favorite chest exercises, the just remind dips, close grip bench, I do Larson, you don't have to, and weighted press ups. Obviously there are other really good chest exercises, but those are my favorites, like reps and volume, stuff like that. I train upper three times a week, so I'll train chest three times a week. Each time I do roughly five sets of chest, so in the week that is a total of 15 sets of chest. Not all those sets are to failure, probably like RPE 7 on some stuff. So you don't need to do every single set to failure, but you can if you want, there's nothing really bad about it. For rep ranges, I would generally say do both low reps and high reps. On my lowest rep day, I do a 5x5, five five. that is even that low to be honest. On my other days, the close grip press up, weighted, I'll do usually over 10 reps, probably like 10 to 20, and dips. I just moved up the weight to uh, my 27 kg dumbbells. Last time I did it, I'd done 18 kg dumbbells for like four sets of 15. Just then I'd done four sets of 10, quite conservative, but we'll bump that up as the, as the weeks go on. That's how much volume I do, but obviously if you are having like a really, really hard time uh, growing your chest, even after you've done what I've told you, you can add in some more volume. For example, just you know what, just any exercise you want, whatever you find is fun. I know I said like certain exercises are better in my opinion, but the best exercise you should be doing is just whatever you find is fun. So you can add in just another exercise for like maybe two or three sets of failure after your main exercise, just to get some more volume. And then if you're doing everything right, your chest will grow. If it's not growing, you're doing something wrong. So if you're still having trouble, you can DM me. I'll help you out. But oh, last thing, just that I remembered, your chest appears small because you got really bad posture, right? So if you see me, my shoulders are always back here. So if you look down at your hands, right? Just like put your hands at your side and look down. If your hands are face, if your thumbs are facing in the way, you're like, you got bad posture. If they're facing out, pointing forward. So like if your thumbs are like pointing forward like this. Good posture, right? So basically, you don't want your shoulders to be forward like here. You want them to be set all the way back, like your shoulders are always retracted. After time, you get used to that, but that also comes with training your back and stuff, so you got good posture. If I, I'm standing like this, right? So my chest looks big. If I was to like here, it's like, bro, I look small, bro. So yeah, good posture, push your chest out, makes you look better. But